As a source of clean energy, solar cells have great potential to dominate future energy markets. Solar energy currently accounts for a very small percentage of electricity used globally, but solar cells can be integrated with relative ease into infrastructure and commercial products. Emerging solar technologies are printable and have other important advantages, but realizing their large-scale global potential is limited by their power conversion efficiency, or PCE, and operating stability. In a recent paper in Advanced Functional Materials, Professor Thomas Anthopoulos of the Kaust Solar Center at King Abdullah University of Science and Technology in Saudi Arabia and the Center for Plastic Electronics at Imperial College London, along with his colleagues, report a simple, inexpensive, and environmentally friendly processing method for copper 1-thiocyanate, a next-generation interlayer material for solar cells. When copper 1-thiocyanate, a highly transparent, chemically stable semiconducting compound, is deposited as a thin film between the anode and light-absorbing layer, it acts as a whole transport layer, or HTL, that significantly enhances the performance of both the organic and hybrid perovskite solar cells. After dissolving copper 1-thiocyanate powder in a mixture of water and ammonia, a dark blue solution forms, which is stable under ambient conditions. Solid films of 3 to 5 nanometer thickness are obtained when this dark blue solution is spin cast in air and annealed at 100 degrees Celsius. Compared to copper 1-thiocyanate layers processed using conventional sulfur-based solvents, such as diethyl sulfide, or DES, the aqueous processed layers have a remarkably smooth surface with no evidence of pinholes in the atomic force microscopy images. Organic photovoltaic devices based on the aqueous processed copper 1-thiocyanate HTL yield a PCE of 10.7%, which is a significant improvement compared to 9.2% for devices with the DES processed HTL and 9.7% for devices with a conventional polymer HTL. Hybrid perovskite solar cells with the aqueous processed copper 1-thiocyanate HTL incorporated demonstrate an even higher PCE a remarkable 17.5%, while similar cells containing a conventional polymer HTL only achieve a PCE of 13.6%. After simulated solar illumination for one hour, the PCE of the perovskite solar cell with an aqueous processed copper 1-thiocyanate HTL decreased to only 99.5% of its initial PCE and to 91.1% after an additional two hours making it superior in terms of operating stability and lifetime. For organic solar cells, the copper 1-thiocyanate film strongly absorbs ultraviolet radiation and acts as a protective shield against degradation of the organic molecules from sun exposure. Conventional polymer HTLs lack this ability, and the organic solar cells suffer from rapid performance degradation. A 35% drop in PCE occurs after only 10 minutes of illumination, compared to only 15% when the copper 1-thiocyanate HTL is used. To learn more about this promising new development for solar cells, please visit the Advanced Functional Materials homepage. <laughs>